Okay, so now we have our basic walls and information done. This is going to be our part two. What we're going to do now at this point is we're going to go ahead and we're going to insert all the things we're putting in there, the, the tubs, toilets, sinks, and stuff like that. Now, what we need to do is to be in the zero layer. And the zero layer is what I call the chameleon layer. If you have someone else's drawing and say they have 10 different layers and they all have different colors and attributes and things like that, um, if you put them in on a layer such as like our wall layer, they will pick up just the wall layer attributes. It will not be their own. If you put them on the zero layer, it is our chameleon layer. Whatever information will be put on the proper layer. So we place ourselves in the zero layer. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we are going to insert and insert again. From here, we're going to click on Browse. Please go to our W drive, which is our AutoCAD drive. You know that by now. And I want you to find Drafting One Arc Projects. First one we're going to be doing is Symbols. And we're going to tell it to open. At this point, when you're looking at it, um, insertion is going to be on screen and the scale is going to be uniform. It's going to be one to one and we're not going to rotate it. This is important that it's exploded because with all the different pieces coming in, if it's not exploded, then what's going to happen here is it's going to stick together and you're not going to be able to move it. You'll have to explode it after the fact, which if you exploded too much, it's going to be a mess. So make sure it says exploded and you tell it OK. For this one, just come up and pick in this area. Now, take a look at what we've got. We have pocket doors. These are the doors that slide into the walls. We have French doors, and these are the like the double doors. Now, I'll remind you, we're doing a vacation cottage. I will not allow you to use these as front doors because this cottage is so small. Going out the back to a backyard area, that's a possibility, but not for a front door. We have sliding doors. These could be sliding glass doors or these could be sliding doors for like um, a closet or something like that. These are bifold doors. So you have three different sizes, but you can double them. So you can have two three foots will make a six foot, two twos will make a four. So that works out pretty well there. Over here, these are our standard doors that we have. So I would suggest using the three foot for your outside door. And then you're going to have smaller doors as you go on the different things. Remember, you need a larger door for your bedroom than you do for your bathroom. Um, let's come over here and look. We've got for the kitchen, the range, stove, dishwasher, water heater, dryers, washers. This is a stackable washer and dryer. And the stackable washer and dryer is not the newest ones. You see those full size. This is the small apartment size. They're normally white rectangular that come up and they have a slanted front face that you can put a small amount of clothes in and then the dryers on top of it. Um, so there's your dryers. Here's the refrigerators. This is like a double door or the French doors. This is your standard. We have kitchen sinks. Notice the different kinds. Um, then we've got utility sinks. These are like in a mud room or utility. These are those big white mop sinks. This is for a bathroom. These are pedestal sinks that just stand free. These are like what we see here in our school, the hang from the wall sinks. Some people do have those. And these are counter sinks that you do have to have a counter around. Now, do not put your kitchen sinks in the restroom. Do not put your restroom or your bathroom sinks in the kitchen. Same with utility. You don't want to put your utility in your kitchen. Um, here we go with tubs, two different kinds of tubs. And please make sure when you're moving this tub, he's got that little corner on him. So make sure you take the right piece. You have shower stalls, you have two different kinds of toilets, and yes, gentlemen, I gave you a urinal. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start to what we know. So I'm going to come down here to this bedroom and the bathroom and take care of that. First thing I'm going to do is put in the doors, okay? I'm going to look at the doors and take a look and see what I have. 2 foot 10 would be 34 inches, 2 foot 8 would be 32 inches. I think I'm going to use both of these, one for the bedroom, one for the bathroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy. Please remember to copy instead of moving because if you make a mistake with these, you're not going to have them. You're going to have to reinsert all these files again. So let's just take these and place them kind of sort of in the area. Okay. So now I'm right here. Put myself in the wall so I can do some offsetting. Um, 
this door is swinging the proper way, but this one's not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror this door. And I'm going to make sure my ortho is on. And I'm going to delete the source. Now, with that, how we attach these is very simple. If you look at a door, like uh, when you go home and look behind your bedroom door, your bathroom door, you're going to notice there's approximately four to six inches behind that, including all the trim and stuff. So you got to remember when they're hanging doors, they just don't put one two by four around it. They always double up their two by fours, and then they have the actual door jam going in there. So it's between four to six inches average for us to do this drawing with. So let's just take our offset, and I'm going to just use four inches. And I'm going to use this wall and come out four this way, four this way. And I'm going to go ahead and trim. I'm going to trim this up and this up. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and move my door from here. Oh, I don't have my midpoint set, so let me come down here and change up and add midpoint because that's definitely going to be needed. Much better. Okay, so I'm going to go mid. And I'm going to move it again. Whoops, grabbed it from the wrong spot for myself. From here to here. And now I'm going to copy this little four inch line from here to here and all the way over to here. Now I'm going to do a trim. And I'm going to select. All of these lines that I just put in these little guys and I'm selecting I don't want to hit, hit my space bar because if I hit my space bar look at the little stuff I'd have to trim in there that would drive me crazy okay so with that once I do that it asks me what I want to trim so I want to trim these and these now I'm going to do another trim at the same time since I've gotten this parts correct and I'm trimming this and this and I'm going to take out this and this now I'm only trimming this when I know it's correct I would not suggest you trim these walls until you've had these walls checked by me to make sure that you're not going to be moving them because nothing's worse than having all this extra space so check out how that looks now looks pretty decent so we have that set so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work in this bathroom right here so I'm going to come up here. I'm going to copy some things. I'm going to come and go over here and copy. I'm going to take this tub. I'm going to take this sink. And I'm going to take this toilet. I could copy them one by one. Or I could copy them like I'm doing. And I'm just going to plop them kind of sort of in here. And I'm going to move them when I need them moved. Okay? So I put them in. And I can move them closer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this tub. And when I rotate, please, please, please make sure your ortho's on because you don't want things slanted. And I'm going to take my move. I'm going to go from the corner and I'm going to go to the corner. I'm going to rotate the toilet. And I'm going to move the toilet really quickly just from here. And for right now, I'm going to take it from the midpoint to this midpoint. That's not where I'm going to leave it. Let me show you something. This is actually code if you want to think about it this way. If I took from the, let me turn snaps back on. Oops. And I bet you I don't even have the circle set on this one. Center. Here we go. Okay. If I took from the center here and did 18 inches, that is pretty much what you need to have space around the toilet. Believe it or not, that's basically your butt space. So we're going to take this and move it up with our ortho on. So it's almost touching the, the tub. So that's a good amount of space right there. Now, this was an in-counter sink. And there are some different sizes of counters. And we're going to put an 18-inch counter. So I'm going to do the offset. But what I'm going to do is remember with the offset down here, I'm going to pick L for layer. And I want it to be the current because that is the counter layer. And I'm going to put 18 inches. I'm going to take here, out, and then this way coming here, I really don't know what I want. So what I'm going to do is take from this point and come out. Now look at the measurement in that box. As I'm coming closer to here, it's giving me, it's approximately almost four feet to about here. 
that's a good measurement. So I'm going to go four feet, and I'm going to take from here to here. And I'm going to just fill it this corner, because I don't want to have to worry about the trim. Okay, so I'm going to hit my save, close this out. I'm going to take and go rotate. Come on, rotate. And remember, that's your drain. So make sure your drain is going to the back of your sink. You don't want it in the front. And I'm just going to move this over. Now check this out. I don't care if you put your sink all the way down here or all the way here. Maybe you want more counter that way. It doesn't have to be dead center. But if you want it dead center, that's fine too. But what I want you to see is I'm not sitting there saying, don't put it on the corner there or all the way back there. Center the sink up so that you got space here and here to hold the sink up with the counter. So believe it or not, that bathroom's completely done. Okay? So let's start working over here into this area here for our closet. I'm going to put us back into the wall layer for right now. And what I'm going to do is just draw a random line straight down. I'm not sure where I'm putting it yet, but I'm going to go ahead and do an offset of four inches. Whoops, it wasn't too swift. I'm going to do my four inches here. Now, I'm going to move this wall, and I'm going to move it towards the end, because remember on mine, let me see, and remember, we need four, six inches over here also. Do you see what we did? I was trying to get a linen closet in here and then an actual closet. So let's see what I've got going on here. Okay, that looks like a decent space. Let me throw myself to dimensions really quick. And let's throw a dimension in here. Um, you know what? I need to turn more of these snaps on. This is just becoming a mess. Okay, I'm going to take from here to here. That's, a, that's fine. That's, that's a good amount. I can even move it over a little more if I want. I'm just going to leave it as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and trim up these lines for myself. I'm going to get rid of these and this. That's perfectly fine. Now, I'm going to do a lawn, uh, linen closet. So I'm going to offset one foot. So I'm going to take from here and go here. Oops, I'm in the wrong layer. And I'm going to do four inches from here. To here. Let's throw these back on the wall layer. Okay, so I have that. That's all fine and well. Let's go ahead and take a measurement now from here to here and check that out. That closet's four foot six and three sixteen inches. That's pretty decent size. So I'm going to trim up because I've already had this checked and approved. I'm trimming here, here, here here and here. Almost like if we injected water in it, it'd flow through everywhere like that. So that's kind of cool. So now I need to put my closet doors. This is four and three, four and six and three sixteenths inches. And we know this is three foot in here. So let's go look. I want to do bifold doors. So let's see what we have in bifold doors. I have an 18 inch door which probably would work really well. Even the two-foot door would work in that hallway. And I have a three-foot door. I think I'm going to do both the two and the three. So I'm going to copy both of these like so. And once again, I'm just going to go put these in this area here. So I'm going to drop that one there. And now I'm going to go ahead and move. Actually, I'll rotate it first. Make sure I got my ortho on, and I want the door facing out. So now I'm just going to kind of move it in the area. Okay, I'm not quite sure where it needs to be, but I'm going to kind of put it in here. Okay? So let's work on this one first. Easiest thing to do is, back in the wall, see how I have it trimmed out? This is a three-foot door. I'm going to take a line, and actually I'm going to come here from the midpoint, I'm going to drag it up, and I'm going to go offset. If th this is three foot, it's 36 inches. Half of three foot is either one foot six or 18 inches. I'm going to take here and here. I can erase this, and I can now trim 
this here, here. I can now move my closet from the end point to the mid. Whoops, hello. Didn't take it. To here. So now I have my closet there. What I would like you to do, though, is to show me when we're doing the checks what the opening is here. See, it's a three-foot opening. It's a three-foot door. See, this door is in an open position. Now, this is a two-foot door. So what we're going to do here, back to walls, to a line, come from the middle, straight out, and let's offset. It's a two-foot door. I'm going to do one foot in each direction. I'm going to go from here to here, here to here. I'm going to erase this and I'm going to trim this here 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 now this is how this door is going to open now you want to think about this when I open this door if I have it over here I'm opening it I'm going to kind of get into this way because there's only seven inches here so this is going to be in your way I've got this bigger bedroom down here and the door is going to be in this area so I think I'm going to have this door get placed to the middle here so that way it's opening up against this wall here so once again give me these dimensions from here to here and let's put this in the proper layer so it doesn't drive me crazy now if this has got too much dimensions going on you do realize you can move dimensions in different areas um, I can slide this over here not a problem I can freeze them all so now I've got this and this, okay? Now remember, keep saving, and also I need you to go ahead and make sure that you do a print. Print every day if you can, okay? Um, when you get to a certain point and you want to print, let me show you. Actually, I'm going to do a separate video on the printing, okay? That way you'll have a, a clue on the printing. So I'll do a separate video. We'll get to it. But I would suggest if you get the walls all done first, print it out, turn it into me, then start working on these rooms, print it out, turn it into me. And every day that'll work more and more. Okay, next thing. I think I'm going to use the same door over here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy. And that was a two foot ten. I'm going to copy that door and move it into this area here. And Miss Olson's on a roll with all of her emails today. And I'm going to come from here and I'm going to do my mirror and have my here, erase it. And then what I'm going to have to do, actually, let me undo that because that was kind of silly. What if I just rotate this one? Let's see what I can do on this. So I just realized what I needed. I needed that direction. Okay, so I'm going to come in here, I'm going to do my offset, four inches, here to here, trim, here, move, here to here, copy, from here, here and then trim remember I'm not hitting that space bar on this because it would be too much stuff to trim so now I have that I also have I know I've checked this already so I have this taken through so I'm going to come down here and clean out this too now remember I'm only trimming these once I've had this all approved so that's pretty decent so now look I've got some pretty good stuff going here. So the more dimensions you do, the better. And like I said, you can freeze things off. And let me show you a couple other things. Okay, two to ten. And it's taking it because of where the actual circle is, which is not a problem. Okay, let me show you this. Say I want those dimensions on there but if they're driving me crazy right now, instead of you freezing all of them off, if you come down here 
And let me see if I've got, see where it says isolate object, these little guys, three, hold it. You can say hide. You can pick, pick, pick any of the dimensions that are in your face that is driving you crazy, and you can hide them. So you can hide them, and then when you need them back before you print to give it to me, and object isolation, and they're right there. So don't forget about hiding. Hiding is a nice little thing you can actually do. Okay. Okay, so now we have this. Well, my next thing I have is I have, this is going to be the closet. It's going to be a closet for my front door, and it's going to be a closet for this bedroom. So I'm just going to go ahead and do something like, this and go back to my walls and I'm going to do an offset of three feet. I'm going to take this here and then I'm going to do my four inches. And at this point I'm going to trim this out so I've got a very nice closet and I've got a pretty small, you know what, this is a perfect example to show you this too. I have a three foot closet there but you know what? I decided I want to make it four. I really don't need that huge of a closet there. So watch. Let's do the stretch again. With the stretch, if I come from here, and you have to go from your right to left, anything that's inside, so these two lines are inside, will move. Anything that it's crossing over with the green box, it'll stretch. So I'm going to pick that, right-click, pick a point, and see how it's stretching. I'm going to put my ortho on so it only goes up. And I want to have this four foot. So that was three foot. So I'm going to type in one foot. And now it moved it up. See how easy that was? So now this is where I'm going to go ahead and I was going to put my bifold doors that I'm going to do here. Before I do that, I want to find out what size is this closet. I know this one's four foot. So I'm going to take this from here to here. This is six foot eight. That's a good size. So I need to figure out what size on things I need to do. And this closet here is four foot. I'll double check that. There it is. So let's go take a look at these bifold doors. Okay. Coming over here, I have a six foot eight. If I wanted that whole closet to wide open, I could use a three foot. But I think with that, I'm only going to do a two foot. And to be honest with you, with that four foot closet, I think I'm going to use a three foot for that one. So I'm going to copy these up. And let's show you what's going on here. I'm going to put, that's going to be my three foot down there. And then I'm going to move my two foot over. So let's move this one to here. So now let's put this closet on. I am going to rotate. Make sure ortho's on. And now this is three foot. So I'm going to take my line. And I'm going to go from the middle and come straight out. And I'm going to go offset. That's a three foot door. Half of that's 18 inches. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go here. Delete this. And trim. I got an extra line here because I hit the space bar. And I'm going to have this open towards the wall, so I'm going to take this and go here to here. Now, this is going to drive me crazy, so I'm going to isolate these guys too. So I'm going to isolate, isolate. Oh, sorry about that. I know what I needed. I needed to hide. So hide, hide. So now I've got to put these in. So I'm going to take one more time my line from here. I'm going to draw it straight out. I'm going to offset it two foot in each direction because I'm going to have two of those doors. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to go here. And I know you're thinking, oh, no, it's, it's going to crash into the door. Not a problem. Let's trim this up. And let's take this. And I'm going to come out here and trim all the way through. And I'm going to take this and this and get rid of this. Now, I'm going to rotate this one like so. And I'm going to move it. 
corner to here. And now I'm going to copy it from here to here. Okay? Now, this is a problem. Let's show you how to solve the problem. Rotate. Select your entire door. Get all the pieces to it. And we're going to take this. And I'm going to take my ortho off this time. And I'm going to, oops, I forgot a piece of it. Rotate. I've got little piece right here. This, this little piece, and this. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to start to rotate it so it's not in conflict. So see, I'm just free rotating it right here. So I'm going to go there, and then I'm going to come back to here, and I'm going to trim. Like that. So it's all set up. So that's pretty good there. I'm going to hit my save at this part, and that's where I'm going to start on part or finish on part two. So you can see where I've got a lot of stuff done already. So um, hit my save. I'm going to finish this up, and I will come in tomorrow and I will do my next um, video. And so that's your part two. Hopefully, I've got enough to keep you busy. And remember, if we wanted to turn back on all our dimensions, we come here and object isolation. And goodness, look at all the dimensions I've got now. Okay, so save one more time and that should be good.